Hey everyone, my name's Craig Emmerich. Uh, you may know me and my wife Maria. Uh, we've been doing this for over 20 years, uh, 23 years I think for her, and like 17 or 18 years I've been eating keto and carnivore. Um, and we've been helping clients with this lifestyle and see amazing results like these for over uh, 20 years now. And we've seen pretty much everything. We've got thousands and thousands of testimonies, uh, over 20 books we've published, and we're going to get into some interesting topics today. I've heard a lot of uh, talk about dietary fats and how much of it is used for energy versus how much is used for other processes. It's very true that the body will use fat for a number of things. You make uh, cholesterol, for example, is used to make all sex hormones. So you need cholesterol to make all of your sex hormones. Um, the cell walls and, and want EPA, DHA, omega-3 uh, fats are building up cell walls and structures in the body. So they're very important too. But comparing the amount of fat in the diet to how much of that is then used to do these other processes compared to how much of that fat you eat just goes into your fat cells and is used for energy, that's an important thing to understand. And the studies are pretty clear on this, and I'll put links below to several studies on this topic. Um, but really what we're talking about here is essential fatty acids. So what are essential fatty acids? These are fats your body can't make, um, and the, you have to have them in the diet. Now, cholesterol is not necessarily essential because your liver can make all the cholesterol your body needs, but you know, you can give your liver a break and have some uh, eggs and whatnot to supply some cholesterol that it doesn't then have to make. But how much cholesterol per day is the body producing? Uh, about one to two grams per day. So about one to two grams of cholesterol per day will satisfy the needs for, you know, producing healthy hormones and these type of processes. Uh, aloha friends one of my very favorite things to do is go camping and i love camping in devil's lake wisconsin if you've ever been here give a shout out it's amazing i already ran around the lake this morning and now we're on a family hike around the lake and to keep my energy up i always pack element with me all you have to do is throw it into a bottle of water and shake it up it's a natural gatorade without sugar and if you want to get a free sample with your order they are so generous. If you go to drinkelement.com slash keto Maria, you can get a free sample with your order and it's really good. Uh, we love the raspberry. We love the orange. The watermelon's good. They're all good. And even the chocolate, it makes a great hot chocolate after a long hike around a campfire. So check it out. Drinkelement.com slash keto Maria. Let's then look at the uh, essential fatty acids. The essential fatty acids are gonna be like ALA, omega-6s, omega-3s. Yes, we talk a lot of bad about omega-6s, but there are st still some forms that we still want in the diet. They're an essential fatty acid. Our body cannot make uh, omega-6s or omega-3s. We have to eat them. Um, and there's other reasons why it's important to have some fat in the diet uh, at a, as a you know, minimum floor um, of dietary fat, and that's for absorbing fat-soluble vitamins. A, D, E, and K, you need to eat, consume those with a fat to absorb them. But how much is the minimum? What's the floor for these fats? Uh, essential fatty acids, um, there's studies and things that have looked into this pretty, pretty well, and things like ALA, um, it's about two grams per day. That's the floor. Uh, in general, omega-6s, omega-6s, uh, it's about 10 grams per day is what the studies have shown. You start to lose benefit. Uh, if you go above that, you don't see a lot of improvement. Below that, you do start to see deficiencies and things showing up. So it's around 10 grams per day omega-6 and a couple grams. Uh, it, talking about omega-3s, it's a cup, about 2 to 3 grams. Typically, they, they show as the floor for omega-3s. So those are the minimums you need to build cell walls to do the things the body has to do every day. Um, now that's not optimum. I'm not saying that's optimum and I'm not saying people should only be eating 12 grams of fat a day. But that gives you an idea of what the floor is and it also gives you an idea of where 
the range in which the fats uh, that you're eating are being used for other things than fuel, okay? The body can make all the saturated fat it needs. It do, you don't have to consume any saturated fat. I mean, at some point you're gonna need energy, but the point is, you know, it can, it's not an essential fatty acid, um, but it is an, a really good fuel source and we love to use it as a fuel source. But that's where you have to really understand the difference here is that the, the, when we're talking about the fats to absorb fat soluble vitamins, to uh, do cellular, build cell walls and do all the processes to create healthy hormones, the things that the body does with fat other than fuel, you're talking uh, from a dietary perspective at maybe 10, 15 grams a day of fat is all you need to supply those processes with what they need. Um, and that's why even with a protein sparing modified fast, we don't talk about zero fat. Uh, we never have said that. Uh, you know, protein sparing modified fast is a tool, a, a, a tool for speeding up weight loss, for breaking stalls. You do it one or two days a week to speed up your results. And even on those days, we say 20 to 30 grams of fat is the minimum. That's again, to make sure you're getting what you need for these processes for absorbing vitamins and those kind of things. So that's the floor even on those days, which is about as extreme as it gets. Otherwise, you know, the dietary fat that you're consuming on you know, regular keto or carnivore days with macros that we would give you, if you're getting say 80, 90 grams of fat, only 10 to 15 is being used for those other processes, which means all the rest, 70, 80 grams of fat is fuel. And that's fine. That's what your body's fueled on when you're ketogenic. Um, but when I've seen, I've even seen one doctor say that the majority of the fat you eat is used for other processes. And this is somebody who promotes, you know, 150, 200 grams of fat because it's all about eating the fattiest cuts of meats and, and, and adding lots of fat to the diet. There in no way, shape or form is the majority of that going to be used for other processes. Maybe 20, 50, 10, 15, maybe 20 grams is used to satisfy these needs. The rest is fuel. So I think it's important to understand that difference. And yes, we've never said zero fat. And we've always said, let's make this a personalized approach. This isn't a one size fits all. It shouldn't be a one size fits all where everybody, regardless of goal, you eat the same thing. You eat the fattiest cuts, you eat lots of fat. And that shouldn't, and it doesn't change if you're trying to lose weight or trying to maintain or anything else. You need a personalized approach. Don't eat what I'm eating. I'm in maintenance and my activity level is probably vastly different than yours. Um, I am, you know, because of my Lyme disease, I'm not as mobile. So I, I can't be as active as I want to be. Um, and I'm in maintenance. So I need more fat in my diet because I'm in maintenance. I don't have a lot of fat on my body. Uh, if you're somebody who's trying to lose weight and you're hundred pounds overweight, don't eat like me. Uh, you're going to want to eat different macros for your goals. Your goals are different. So your macros should be different. Dial the fat down a little bit in the diet and you'll see more fat being burned off the body. So that is, I hope clears things up when it comes to dietary fat. If you want to change your life, like I've changed mine with food, I would be honored to help you. Many of you don't know that I was twice my size. I had acid reflux. I had PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome. I had depression. I had IBS, which is irritable bowel syndrome. And food changed my life. And not only did that happen, I get to eat good food, right? Good food. So if you want to eat good food, have perfected meal plans made by me and personal help with supplements or modifications, if you have Hashimoto's, if you have uh, Graves, if you have IBS, if you have PCOS, contact me. I would be honored to help you. Um, you can go to keto-adapted.com and find a lot of different options there for personalized help or message me uh, by commenting below on this YouTube video or you can check me out at mariamindbodyhealth.com. Mahalo.